Patrick? Yes? My name's Lois. I'm your sister. Oh my god, Lois. I never thought I'd see you again. These are my children. Why do you live in a crazy house, Uncle Patrick? Well, when I was just a little boy, I had a very traumatic experience. Mommy, can I have a drink of water? <gasps> Jackie Gleason! Beat it, kid. Your mother's busy. Humana, 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 pow! Right in the kitchen! Oh, that's a horrible story. Yes, I was so traumatized, they sent me here, and I guess they must have forgotten about me. Well, you seem perfectly normal to me, and no brother of mine is gonna be cooped up in some insane asylum. We are taking you back to Cohop with us. Thank God I'm out of that hospital. It's great to be eating lunch with my family instead of a bunch of chronic masturbators. Those people are disgusting. Is it lonely up there on your pedestal, Patrick? You know, I'm very glad you're here, Patrick. Well, I want to tell you that Marion and I both appreciate what you've done. Marion? Oh, you have a girlfriend. Oh, where are my manners? Marion is my wife. She is sitting right next to me. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh huh. Nice to meet you, Marion. What's that, honey? Oh, yes. Hang on, Marion wants some coffee. Hey, guys, I'm going for a run. Do me a favor and keep Marion company while I'm gone. Uh, sure. Great. Bye, honey. Hey, Brian. Marion just called you an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, yeah? M Marion just called you a homo. <laughs> wait, wait a second, I'll be right back. Hey, Brian, Brian, what if I, what if I put this cucumber right here? Do, do you think Patrick would be angry? <laughs> I don't know, man, it's his wife. Hey, Marion's giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> what we should do, we should let it sit here for a couple of weeks and see if it pickles. <laughs> if after three weeks it pickles, then she's real, and we both have to buy Patrick a steak. Whose pickle is this? The body of a local fat man was found murdered in Quahog Park last night. Police released this sketch of the suspect. Oh my god. Police also released this sketch of a female accomplice believed to be his wife. Peter, did you start a coalition for fat guys? Yeah, the fat guy coalition. Peter, you shouldn't encourage people to be fat. Fat people are immoral. How do you figure, sports fan? They're just bad people. Like that Jackie Gleason. He was fat and he was bad. One time, when I was a boy... Oh, I love Jackie Gleason! Hey, take a look at what I bought at this TV convention. <laughs> it's a bus driver's uniform. <laughs> Pow, right in the kisser! <laughs> Pow, right in the kisser! 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 Hey, everybody! Peter, you gotta get these guys out of here. Patrick is the murderer. What? <gasps> you son of a bitch! Don't listen to Brian! He doesn't know what he's talking about! Out of my way, Lois! Your brother is toast! Warm, buttery toast! <sighs> that sounds good. I love toast. I just found my penis. Run, Patrick, run! After him! Boys, to your rascals! He went into James Woods. Let's spread out and find him. We'll head him off at the... <laughs> Todd, man, you gotta chew your food. Look. So he has pictures of himself strangling fat guys. That doesn't mean he's the fat guy strangler. Oh, yeah? What about the dead fat guy under his bed? Coincidence? What about the half-dead fat guy in the corner? Patrick tried to kill me. Well, maybe it's a different Patrick. I know who did it. You do? Who? Well, there's only one person I know who likes to strangle fat guys. Patrick Pewterschmidt. Who's that? My brother-in-law. People call him the Fat Guy Strangler. He's always had a thing for strangling fat guys. Free, psycho! Oh, Peter, thank God! Patrick Pewterschmidt, you're under arrest for the murder of, uh... <sighs> I didn't get the kid's name. We're supposed to do that. Lois, you called the cops? Patrick, you're my brother and I love you, but you're not well. But I'm better now. I've put my past behind me. Save it, Patrick. We know you escaped from the asylum and killed... Bill. We'll just call him Bill for now. Escaped? I, I didn't escape. Just this morning, a very nice gentleman opened my cell door and said I was free to go. Yeah, nice try. That's not how it works. Uncle Patrick, why do you strangle fat people? It's probably a weird fetish thing. Some criminals have them. Well, I'd better put out an APB to all the neighboring towns. Oh, the murderer won't leave the camp. What? What are you talking about? He's feeding. 
he killed twice and he's gonna do it again. He's got plenty of places to hide out there and a fully stocked corral of victims. How do you know that? Trust me, I know. You know, Joe, maybe Patrick can actually be of help. I mean, who better to get inside the mind of someone who's strangling fat people than someone who's done it himself? Poor kid. You know, the weirdest thing is his bunk is right next to Chris's. Yeah, that was a close call. Oh, it was more than a close call. You said the first victim was wearing a baseball cap. The second one is blonde. The killer wasn't trying to murder this kid. He was trying to murder Chris. <gasps> oh my god! Why would anyone want to kill Chris? I don't know, but I do know that he's in a great deal of danger right now. Come on, let's go! Yeah, but wait, this is our last chance to do a panty raid. <laughs> Yay, fat camp, we got it! Oh no, a gust of wind! In it, Joe? That's the guy who opened the door to my cell yesterday and told me I could leave the asylum. Ah, is that right? Well, then it all makes sense. Yamamoto wanted it to look like you broke out on your own. That way, when he murdered Chris, it was a cinch that you would take the blame. Well, Patrick, I guess we all owe you an apology. Patrick? Where did he go? He was just right here. What happened? Damn it, he must have gotten away. How is that possible? I don't know, but I better make it look like there was a struggle. Someone punched me in the face. 